Good people. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, handsome. Good morning. My sister, my brother, good morning. Come on in the room. Yep, we here. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Let me get myself situated, set up. Come on in the room. And good morning. <clears throat> Let me get my. Good morning. Good morning, child. Y'all pray for me. Need some prayers this morning. All right, y'all know it's Wednesday, so you know that's it's my tutoring day. So we're going to get busy and get started. Listen, I hope you're doing well this morning. Let's go on in. Let's go on in and talk to Daddy a little bit and, and see what he want to talk to us about. Father, we love you this morning. We worship you. We adore you. We welcome you. We bless you. We honor. We magnify your name today. We give you praise, God. Hallelujah. We just love on you today. And we thank you for just loving us for who we are. God, we thank you for your word today. <clears throat> we thank you for just what you are doing in our lives. I am so, I am so grateful that you have called our name yet again. You've opened our eyes yet again. Ah, you've given us breath to breathe yet again. And although everything in our world may not be perfect, <clears throat> everything in our world may not be uh, the way that we want it to be, but God, we thank you that we're still here. And because we're still here, that means that this thing can change. That means that it can change. That means that you're working. That means that you're moving. That means you're turning some things around. You're flipping some things over. You're moving some things. You're shifting some things. You're making a way out of no way. You're doing what you do. You're doing what you do. And so, God, on today, we just say thank you. We just say thank you. We bless you. We love you. We honor and adore you on today, God. We say have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, sir. Have your way, sir. Have your way, sir. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Do what only you can do the way that you do it. We're going to step back. We're going to sit down and we're going to trust you. We're going to trust your will, your plan, your purpose for our lives because it is good. Your plan is good. Even if it doesn't feel good, it is good for us. Your plan is good. Even if it doesn't feel good, it's good for us. Come on, say that with me. God, your plan is good. Even if it doesn't feel good, it's good for me. It's good for me. It's good for me. <laughs> yes, sir. So I trust you. I trust you, God. I, I'm going to trust you until I trust you. <laughs> Yay. Hey, hey. I'm going to trust you, God, until I trust you. If I got some issues, some trust issues, I'm going to keep on trusting. I'm going to keep going at it. I'm Listen, I'm not going to stop. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pressing. I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to keep hoping. I'm gonna, Listen, I ain't going to stop. I ain't going to. You done been too good. You done been too good. Now, you done been too good. You've been too good. You've been too kind. You've been too merciful. You've been too good. And I'm not going to let nothing stop me from praising your name. Can't stop praising your name. I just can't stop praising your name. I just can't stop praising your name, Jesus. Boom, 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 boom. Can't stop praising your name. I just can't stop praising your name. I just can't stop praising your name, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, 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 hallelujah, Jesus, praise his holy name, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, praise his holy name, can't stop, can't stop, praise in his name, I just can't stop, praise in his name, I just can't stop, praise in his name, Jesus, come on, sing it with me, just can't stop, can't stop, Praising his name, I just can't stop. Praising his name, I just can't stop. Praising his name, 
cheese I double dog day to just say Jesus 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 Hallelujah Jesus Praise his holy name Jesus Hallelujah Jesus Praise his holy name Can't stop Can't stop Baby you mess up and hit one of them Baby you can't stop I don't know what you're going through. I don't. I don't know what you got on your mind, what you got on your heart, what's coming at you, what the left, what. Listen, I don't know. But what I do know is you can't stop. What I do know is he deserves it. What I do know that, and listen, you better honor him. What I do know is if you give him praise, I promise you he'll turn that thing around. What I do know is this too shall pass. What I do know is he ain't never left you. What I do, what I do know is he ain't going to forsake you. What I do know is that he's right there beside you. What I do know is that if you call on his name, what I do know is that he will answer. What I do know is that he's a promise keeping God. What I Listen here, honey. Listen, listen. Let me stand up here for a minute. Let me stand up here for a minute. Let me stand up here for a minute because I'm not here to play no games, child. I'm not here to play no games. I need to tell you this is your morning reminder. This is your morning reminder that he's a covenant keeping God. Did you hear what I said? This is your morning reminder that our God, Jehovah, Elohim, he is a covenant keeping God. Come on, say that with me. He's a covenant keeping God. Uh -huh. He's a covenant keeping God. Say it with your chest. He's a covenant keeping God. He is a covenant keeping God. He's a covenant keeping God. I need you to say it until you believe it. He's a covenant keeping God. Uh -uh. Don't just say it because your head said, say it to your heart. Believe it. He's a covenant keeping. 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 He's a covenant keeping God. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's that's it. And that's all. That's it. I can go ahead and do what I got to do. He's a covenant keeping God. He's a covenant keeping God. Mm -hmm. He's a covenant keeping God. Yeah, he is. He's a covenant keeping. He ain't like us. He don't tell us one thing. He don't tell us one thing and then do something else. <laughs> He's not a God that doesn't keep his promises. All of, as a matter of fact, all of his promises are yes and amen. That's number one. Number two, if he said it, I'm listening. I'm listening to you, God. I'm listening. If he said it, if he said, it, not the government, not the city officials, not your boss, not your supervisor, not your bank or your bank account, not your credit score. Listen, y'all not here for it today, is you? But I'm finna give it to you anyway. If God said it, not the doctor or the nurse or the physician assistant. If God said it. Not the coding inspector, not the realtor. If God said it, not the application, nor the fees. No, listen, if God said it, not the car place, not the listen, not the bureau. If God said it, that's it, and that's all. You need to remind yourself of that today. If God said, go find what he said. Pull up what he said. Quote what he said. Give him back what he said. He's got to do it. He's got to perform it. It's got to come to pass. If God said it, baby, you could, listen, you could put your life on it. If God said it, that's it and that's all. I don't care what our circumstances are saying. I don't care what the economy is saying. I don't care what is happening around us. I don't even care what's happening in us. If God said it. If God said it, that's it. Tori! Tori said, I'll 
issues don't make God break his covenant. I'm trying to tell you he's a covenant keeping God this morning. That's why I can't stop praising his name. I just can't stop praising his name. I just can't stop praising his name. Jesus. When I think about the goodness of I'm you, you better go back down memory lane. You done forgot something. You done messed up and done forgot who he is. You better take your behind back down memory lane, sis. Bro, you better go back down memory lane and remind yourself. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do a reminder. Like he told me to send them reminders this morning to a certain group of people. He said, remind them this morning that I am a covenant-keeping God. I am not a man that I should lie, nor the son of man that I should repent. Whatever I have said, I will make it good. If I told you that you were going to be a lender and not a borrower, you best believe what I said. If I told you you were the head and not the tail, you best believe it. If I told you you were in the front and not in the back, you best believe it. If I told you that the last shall be first and the first shall be last, you better believe it. If I told you that I would make a way out of no way, you better believe it. Believe it. If I told you that I'm a wheel in the middle of a wheel, you better believe it. For I am the King of Kings and I am the Lord of Lords. I call the shot. I call the shot. I by sure your circumstances don't cost no shot. Your situation don't cost no shot. As a matter of fact, to show you who I am, I allowed them to happen so that I can show up and do exactly what I told you I was going to. You better understand that I am that I am. I am whatever you need me to be. I am that and then some. Don't y'all make me get, don't y'all make me, my mind up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me act the fool up in here, up in here. Baby, when I get to talk about my daddy, listen, honey, when I get to talking about that man called Jehovah, something happens. I double dog dare you to just start walking around saying Jesus. I double dog dare you if you're driving just to throw your hand up, keep the other one on the steering wheel, say Jesus. I double dog dare you to just say Jesus. Jesus. There's something about when you call on this name. Jesus. It's something about Jesus. 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 Oh my God. Jesus. Hey, show the most high. Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I need you. Jesus. I double dog dare you. I double dog. I double dog dare you to hold your wig down and call. Oh, Jesus! Jesus. See, some of y'all don't want to look foolish. Some of y'all don't, listen, some of y'all don't want to break a sweat. Some of y'all don't want your mascara to run. Some of y'all don't want your eyebrows to get jacked up. Some of y'all don't want your wig to sweat. Some of y'all, listen, some of y'all do not want to put yourself out there and call on his name and look ridiculous while you're calling him. But baby, I'm here to tell you, it ain't a social or a media that's going to keep me from praising God. It ain't a situation or oration that's going to keep me from praising God. I am here to remind you that as long as you got a praise in your mouth, you got a weapon in your hand. JC to my Lisa, I'm going to give you an offering. I'm going to give you an offering. I'm going to give you an offering. Let me say that again. <laughs> Listen, I don't think you getting it, baby. As long as you got King Jesus, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Tell them lies. To sit down. As a matter of fact, tell them to go to hell. Tell the liars, go to hell. Tell, listen, tell the tricks and the traps of the enemy, it ain't gonna work this time. You best listen, you better get you a word in your mouth. And don't you let these little people out here keep you from praising the Lord. Listen, the Bible says he will turn your mourning. M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G into dancing, D-A-N-C-I-N-G, and your sorrow, S-O-R-R-O-W, into joy, J-O-Y. He will turn it. <laughs> I say, don't say will. He is turning it. Yeah, since y'all like to do the stuff at the Baptist church, Baptist people tell you to do this here. Cogent people tell you to do this. You want God to turn your situation? Stand up and turn around. Say, God, turn my situation around. Come on. Uh -huh. Y'all want, want to go back old school? Tell the Lord, turn it around. Turn it around. 
turn around. <laughs> turn around. Turn around. Turn it. Turn around. You listen. I be saying, I know people be uh, probably going down their timeline and they see me and I be doing all this and carrying on. They be like, what is she doing? Baby, I don't care. Listen, I don't care nothing about what y'all think about me. You don't know what I've been through. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> not only do you not know what I've been through, but you don't know. You don't know the cost of this oil. You don't know what I need to do to get my breakthrough. This is why you don't judge people. I ain't never judged nobody in church. Baby, they want to run around the whole sanctuary. Baby, I be saying, I can't run. I can't run because I got these heels on and they hurt. They is for cuteness and not for um wearing. I can't run around this in church, but baby, I can, I can praise the Lord right here with you in this pew. I don't judge nobody praise. I don't, listen, I don't judge nobody's praise, baby, because you don't know what nobody done been through. You weren't there when he snatched them up out of hell. You weren't there when he snatched them up out of the drug house. You weren't there when he took the alcohol bottle. You weren't there when he closed her legs. You weren't there when he told him to pull out this ain't your wife. You weren't there. I said what I said. You was not there when the Lord did what he did. So you can't tell people how to praise their God. You ain't got the right. You ain't listen. You better sit down when it comes to people giving God what belongs to him. Because let me tell you something. When you go to thinking about he's a covenant keeping God, how he snatched you up out of situations that you couldn't get yourself out of. Child, when your mind go back in memory lane, you be like, my God, today, if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, I, sh I should have been gone. It could have been, would have been, should have been me. But it was the blood that saved me. It was the blood that sanctified me. It was the blood that pulled me out of the muck and the mouth. It was the blood. 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 And for some of y'all, it's the blood right now. Because if it truth be told, the stuff that you doing, the stuff that you done did, you shouldn't have the job that you have. You shouldn't have the position that you have. You shouldn't have the house that you have. You shouldn't have the husband or the wife that you have. You shouldn't have the family that you have. You shouldn't even be in your goddamn right mind. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. But God. <laughs> Somebody say, but God. But God. But God. But God. God. But God, but God, but God. I, everybody got a but God. Ooh, I know they thought I wasn't going to make it, but God. I know they counted me out, but God. I know they thought I wasn't going to do it, but God. I didn't think I would either, but God. But God, but God, but God. But God. Mm -hmm. But God. Mm hmm. But God did it. Uh -huh. But God did it. Uh -huh. But God. Uh -huh. But God. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know where I I know how I grew up, but God. <laughs> yeah, I know who my mama is, but God. I don't even know my daddy, but God. But God. Yeah, my husband left me, but God. Yeah, I got a divorce, but God. Yeah, I had a, a, an abortion, but God. Yeah, I had, listen, I had a miscarriage or two or three, but God. Yeah, I thought I was going to lose my mind, but God. As a matter of fact, they, they, listen, they told you that you was bipolar, but God. Maybe schizophrenia, but God. Maybe in depression, but God. But God, but God, but God, boo. But God, boo. Uh -huh. But God. When you took that last, that should have killed you, but God. When you was with that man, you should have called AIDS, but you didn't. But God. When you should have got shot up, but the, the, the God said, nah, uh uh, I'm going to change their mind. But God. When you got shot and the bullet didn't kill you, but God. When he left you, beat you so bad and then he left you for dead, but God. When your whole family forsook you and would listen, won't support you. Listen. Won't even listen, won't look out for you. But God, I'm trying to remind you this morning that He is a covenant keeping God. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? He is.
he will always be. And he always has been a covenant keeping God. If God said something, if God spoke something, he's going to do it. Your job is not to worry about when. Your job is not to worry about how. Your job is not to worry about who. Your job is not to worry about the details. Your job is to trust that if he did it before, he'll do it again. Same God, same God. Come on, say that with me. If he did it before, <clears throat> he will do it again. Same God, same God. If he did it before, he will do it again. He's the same God. If he did it before, if he got it, listen, if he made a way before, I know rent do. I know mortgage do. If he did it before, oh, hear me today. He's a covenant keeping God. Jesus. If he did it before, come on, Veronica. I want to play it so bad, but Facebook be tripping. You be trying to download your video and they won't let you download a video because you done played a song. Be like, really? If he did it before, he will do it again. He's the same God. I need you to play that song today. I need you to play that song today and remind yourself. If he did it before, he will do it again. I hear you, God. I hear you. God said, I, I did it. I put, I put, I allowed the situation to happen. I allowed you. Yes, I allowed it. You had to go to jail. You had to lose the job. You had to, whatever your it is, you had to do it. Because in order for me to show you who I am, you had to experience what I could do. I know it don't make sense. But I had to, I had to do it. I had to allow it. Because that was the only way that you were going to know who I am. You think, you know, you think you know, but you don't know until you don't know. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> He's a covenant keeping God. You ain't going to be like your mama. You ain't going to be like your daddy because he's a covenant keeping God. He's going to do it. That's all I got to say. He's going to do it. This is probably going to be the shortest live I've ever done on a Monday, uh, a weekday. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He is not a man. Is that numbers? Where is that scripture? God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Yes, sir. God said, whose report will you believe? Now, what is the answer to that? Let you answer that. Whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? I'm telling you, whose report you going to believe? I hear the Holy Spirit saying, you need to search the scriptures today. You need to see for yourself what I said about being a covenant keeping God. Because these issues, <clears throat> these issues of life, I'll tell you something about these issues of life. They will make us think that God has forgotten his covenant with you. They will make you think, <laughs> come on, Shanti Mosley, I will believe the report of the Lord. 
when you are going through there are some situations in life that will make you think God has forgotten you you see everybody over here thriving you see this person and got this you see this person has has obtained this this person been promoted this person has been elevated this person listen and you're like well God what is going on let me give you a couple of verses in Exodus 2 24 God remembered his covenant with Abraham Isaac and Jacob and he will not forget his covenant with you this is what you need to say this is what you need to study to help you remember I'm going to give you some scriptures I hope you can write them down are you ready number one so I will turn towards you and make you fruitful and multiply you and I will confirm my covenant with you that is Leviticus 26 and 9 but you shall remember the Lord your God for it is he who is giving you the power to make wealth he's giving you the power to make wealth that means he's gonna give you some creative ideas he's gonna give you something for you to make wealth he ain't gonna just give you wealth he will bless you but he has given you the power to make wealth that he may confirm his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. That's Deuteronomy 8, 18. Furthermore, I have heard the groanings of my sons of Israel because the Egyptians are holding them in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Exodus 6 and 5. I said, I beseech you, O Lord God of heaven, the great and awesome God who preserves the covenant and loving kindness for those who love him and keep his commandments. That's Nehemiah 1 and 5. Psalms 111 5 said he has given food to those who fear him he will remember his covenant forever I'm telling you you have to remind yourself God ain't gonna have me out here if you got a need problem well that covers it in Philippians 419 and God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus you got a healing problem by the stripes of Jesus I was healed, therefore I am healed. You better know what he said about you. You better know what he said about your situation. And then you give it back to him. God, you see. God can't renege on his word. God, you see. That you was a covenant keeping God. I need to, God, I'm asking you to move according to Philippians 4 and 19. I got a need and I know that you can meet it. God do what only you can do. I believe sometimes we be right here scared. God, if you will. I know if you will, God, you say it. My covenant. This is the one I need you to remember right here. I'm going to put this in the chat. This one right here. I'm going to write this one down, babe. I'm going to save this one right here. My covenant I will not violate. Hear me today, y'all. Hear me today. My covenant I will not violate, nor will I alter the utterance of my lips. Jesus. I'm going to say that again. Now, that one right there, I had you running like they be running in church. I'm about to run around this classroom. God said, my covenant. I've never even seen this scripture. I believe I've heard it before, but I've never read it for myself. Best highlight this one. My covenant I will not violate, nor will I alter the utterance of my lips. I need to see this in multiple versions. Hold on a minute. Let me slide on over here. Slide to the left. Let me slide right on over here in the Bible Gateway. <clears throat> I need to see this in multiple script. This is the I'm finna meditate on this today. Cause I need him to keep his I, I need I, I don't need him to keep his covenant because he's going to keep his covenant because he's God. I need to uh, increase my faith. The NIV says, I will not violate my covenant or alter what my lips have uttered. The, the New Living Translation say, no, I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word I said. You better come through, Living. The Living Translation say, not only won't I break my covenant. Angela, but I will not take back a single word that I have said, Shante. I ain't taking nothing back. You know how sometimes you talking to somebody, you be like, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, let me take that back. 
God said, I won't take a single word back. I said what I said, and that's what I said. I need somebody to get me a t-shirt with that on that. I, I said what I said, and that's what I said. God. That living is not coming to play with nobody. The voice says, I will not violate my covenant, nor will I alter even one word of what my lips have spoken. I'm not going to change my mind. That's what God said. Oh, I love you, Daddy. I love you, sir. Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do, God. I, I'm learning. I'm learning daily to trust you more and more. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word. I don't even know no more, but that's a hymn. But I do know that. Listen, I will not violate my covenant, nor will I alter even one word of what my lips have spoken. <clears throat> The good word translation says, I will not dishonor my promise or alter my own agreement. You know how you sign these agreements? A size medium, Sean, a size medium might need to be a large if it's fitted. Because y'all know I got a little extra going on. And that extra is so lovable. <laughs> it says, a long time ago, you spoke in a vision. Oh, come on, message. A long time ago, you spoke in a vision. You spoke to your faithful beloved. I've crowned the hero. I chose the best I could find. I found my son, David, blah, blah, blah. Ta -da -da -ta 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 -ta. Oh, this was talking about David. This is where all this came from. You best come through and teach me today. I'm trying to find it. Ooh. Do you think? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is what God said. Ooh. Ooh. God said, I'll never throw them out. Never abandon or disown them. Do you think I'd withdraw my holy promise or take back words I've already spoken? I've given my word, my whole and holy word. Do you think I would lie to David? I got to go back and read this here. This here. What is happening? Something happened with David, baby. And he said, listen, you know, this is I, David. Let me tell you one thing I love about David. David was jacked up in a, in, in, I can't even tell you how many ways and neither can you tell me. But one thing about David, David loved him some Lord God. He loved the Lord. He loved the Lord. Why? Because no matter what state David was in, whether David was happy, whether David was sad, whether David was angry, whether, listen, whether he was hurting, whether he was disappointed, whether he was frustrated, David went to God. And we could learn something from David today. You better go to God. Yes, God will send people to help you. He will send people to assist you. He will. Yes, he will. But nobody, absolutely nobody, can do for you what God can do. He is a covenant keeping God. I need that to resonate with your spirit. He is a covenant keeping God. That's it. And that's all. God, I pray that the word that you have given us today I heard you. <clears throat> God said, and you don't need to say nothing else. Now let them search me out for themselves. Yes, sir. I hear you this morning. I'm telling you, I hear you. God, help us to stand on your word. Help us to remember that it is your word. Every single thing on the earth will pass away, but it's going to be your word. It is going to be your word. Your word, your word will remain when everything is gone. It will be your word. You are a covenant keeping God. You will not violate your covenant nor will you alter the words that you have spoken. 
Jesus. Oh, God, I got to get that in my spirit. I got to get it in my spirit. Listen, I don't know what God has told you to do, but whatever he's told you to do, this is what he said. I know the plans that I have for you. They are good. So when the enemy comes and taps you on your shoulder and say what God won't do, you've got to listen. He's using reverse psychology. Open up your mouth and fight them thoughts with the word of God and speak it into the atmosphere. Mm -mm. God said that he will supply all my needs. God said that his plans for me are good, that he got a future for me. He got an expected end. It ain't an end that he trying to figure out. It's an expected end. He already knows how this thing going to end up. You are a covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. Yeah. You are a covenant keeping God. A covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are. A covenant keeping God, a covenant keeping God, a covenant keeping God. Yes, Lord. You better get a praise in your mouth. You better begin to bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. I will, not I might, I will bless his name. Why? Because he's been too good. He's been too good. He's been too merciful. He's been too kind. It should have been, would have been, could have been you if it wasn't for the blood. I need you to remind yourself that if the enemy could have took you out, he would have. He can't do nothing that God does not allow. And if God allows it, it means he's getting ready to show up on the scene. He's going to do it big. He's going to do it big. God don't do nothing small. He always shows up and he shows out. He turns the whole party out. You thought you was a party turner. <laughs> I don't know nobody <clears throat> that goes to a party. And the people run out. And he supplies them with new wine. I'm talking about that good wine. So much so that the people were saying, well, <laughs> he saved the best for last. I need some... Ah, shit, that's a revelation. I need somebody to know today that it may look like you last. It may look like everybody is going before you. It may look like everybody is getting what you've been praying for. It may look like, it may look like, but baby, for some of us, he saved the best for last. That thing going to be worth the wait. He is a covenant keeping God. He is a covenant keeping God. You do your part, he going to do his. It's a guarantee. Huh? It ain't like, listen, it ain't like the stuff of hand we got in the world. He is a covenant keeping God. A covenant keeping God. A covenant keeping God. You better find that song. Find it. Find that song today. You are a covenant keeping God. If somebody can drop that in the chat again. Do not be <clears throat> one of those believers. One of those Christians that gets a word and you hear it and you go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you walk away and that word fall to the ground. Do not be that, that Christian. You've got to take this word and you've got to mutter, meditate. You got to take that phrase. He is a covenant keeping God. He even took us to the scripture today where it says, I am not going to alter what I said. Psalms 80, 89 and 34. Isn't that it? I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to alter what I said. I don't look at your circumstances and go, Ooh, oh, I got, oh, I got to, oh, hey, y'all, we got to do something. God be up there like, I see the circumstances and that's exactly why. 
I'm not changing my mind about it because I need her to know that when I do, when this comes to pass, she going to know that it wasn't nobody but God. <laughs> and this is what he said, and you will testify that he is a covenant keeping God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. He may make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. He may be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance towards you. I don't care what it looks like. I be trying not to yell at school. He is a covenant keeping God. If he said it. Bank on it. You know how you trust Bitcoin? <laughs> he is Bitcoin. Bank on it. He better than Bitcoin. Yeah, he better than what your boss say. Yeah, he's better than what this contract say. He's better than, he's better than, he's better than. He is a covenant keeping God. <laughs> I know they changed their mind about you, but he ain't going to change his mind about you. <laughs> yeah, he ain't going to change his glory, glory, glory. He ain't going to change his mind about I know. I know he met I listen, I know they left your child. I know they talking about your child. I know they saying, look at him. He think he all of that. I know what the people, but the I know what they say, the naysayers say, the haters say. Baby, don't you worry about them haters. He is a covenant keeping God. And if God said it, you can bank on it. I don't even know how many more times I could tell you that today. Study that word. Meditate on Psalms 89, 34 until it resonates with your spirit so much that that's all you hear. When you see your circumstance, that's what you see. You see Psalms, ha shit, you see Psalms 89, 34. When somebody call you with some foolery, they call you and say you weren't approved, you see Psalms 89, 34. When God tells you to move and your feet stuck, you see Psalms 89, 34. 34. When God tell you to do something concerning your spouse, you see Psalm 89, 34. When they tell you some negative report, you see Psalm 89, 34. You see what God says. Act like your daddy. And, and listen, stick your chest out. Hold your head up. Stick your chest out and say what your daddy say about your situation. Stop using your mouth loosely. Stop letting the enemy pimp you around. God's word. God's word. God has the final say. That's it. And that's all. May the Lord watch between me and thee. While we're absent one from another. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Go study this word. Meditate on it. Listen to that song. Look you up some scriptures. Look you up some sermons. Look you up some messages that tells you that he's a covenant keeping God and stand on it. Until you see that thing manifest. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, you can bank on it. Have an amazing day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. In Jesus' name. I love you. Amen.